The OBD2 scanners come in different types. For example, you have code reader, Bluetooth adapter, laptop scanner or scan tools. I will explain to you all of the main types and talk about pros and cons for each of them. To understand this, you should be familiar with what OBD2 scanner functions means. So you know like what is ECU coding, service procedures, global OBD functions. If you don't, just go download free PDF in description. It explains all of those functions. So I don't have to drag this video for too long. And this PDF buyer's guide will also give you the best picks for each of the type. Okay, and now let's start with first and this engine code reader. The most basic type of OBD scanner is engine code reader. They can work only with engine control module. That means that you can read codes and data only from the engine. So you won't be able to read and work with other control modules like brakes, airbags and other systems, only the engine. But most of the codes you get are in the engine control module anyway. And the great thing about these code readers is that they are extremely easy to use. Like you don't have any battery, you don't have to worry about charging, it is using the power directly from your OBD port. You don't have to worry about connectivity issues like with some Bluetooth scanners, you might have to run into some connection issues. They are very easy to use, you just plug them in and you can work instantly. They are also very reliable. Like it will easily last you 10 years without breaking down. And for diagnosing simple engine problems, it is more than enough. Most of them are able to work with all global OBD functions. You probably already know them. If not, go to mentioned buyer's guide. It explains all of them. So when I go to this diagnostic menu, I can read default codes. I can erase them. If you have check engine light, just erase the codes and your check engine light will disappear. You can also check readiness monitors, which are monitoring your emission and exhaust related components. In simple language, if you go for state emission inspection, this is very good indicator if your car will be able to pass or not. Just open this IM readiness. All my monitors are not completed, meaning I won't be able to pass state emission inspection. What you want to see is all of those monitors green, which is indicating good overall health of your engine. A lot of the code readers will also do battery test. See, it is asking me to turn the ignition on. Okay, and <laughs> we already saw the 6 volt voltage, so... Okay, so this battery is completely dead. I won't be able to start the car. With code reader like this, you can also diagnose your problems by looking at engine live data parameters and also engine live data graphs. Overall, for diagnosing engine problems, I mean it is completely enough, you can read codes, clear faults, see how would car do on emission inspection and even see all those engine data parameters, even in graphs for the best code readers. By the way, I also have selection of best engine code readers, you can find them in another video linked here. Ok, next type of OBD2 scanners are Bluetooth OBD adapters. Those are simple adapters like this. You just plug them to your OBD port and connect them either with your smartphone or your laptop. Now Bluetooth adapter will offer you more functionality than traditional code reader. And also they give you ability to work with different software. There is different laptop software and there are hundreds of different OBD2 apps. The Bluetooth scanner is actually my recommendation for every beginner or even DIY mechanic since for the cheap price you can get really advanced functionality. Not with all of them, but there are some Bluetooth OBD scanners that are actually packing the features of professional scan tools. For example the ThinkDiac 2. ThinkDiac 2 is made by Launch and what they actually did with this ThinkDiac, they took software from the professional scan tool and put them in this Bluetooth scanner so you can have professional features for such a low price. And even if you buy one of the cheaper adapters, you will be able to do the same as the code reader. And yes, some of the cheaper Bluetooth adapters can have connectivity issues. But if you want to avoid those, just use one of my recommended picks. I also have the video about best Bluetooth OBD scanners linked up here. If you pick one of my recommendations, you should not be having any connection issues. The third type of OBD2 scanner is laptop scanner. So you are using software downloaded to your laptop and to connect laptop to car you will either need OBD2 cable to USB or you can even use Bluetooth adapter. Some Bluetooth adapters are able to connect with your laptop as well, not just the smartphone. For example, this OBD Link MX Plus. Now I generally don't recommend laptop scanner for beginners because they are not that easy to use. 
just think of this you have to carry your laptop and you also have to make sure that you will not damage your laptop which can be hard sometimes when you have the laptop in garage and for basic free obd2 software it isn't really better than bluetooth adapter or code readers however the laptop can be great choice for specialized software for one brand for example this cable is for toyota Textream software I think I paid for it around 40 bucks and it comes with some clone of Toyota OEM diagnostic software. So for 40 bucks you can have some advanced functions but only for one brand. I also use laptop for my VCDS which is probably the best aftermarket diagnostic software for Volkswagen and Audi. So the laptop can be great choice for a specialized software so software for just one brand with specialized software you can get interesting features like bi-directional testing coding unlocking new features complex live data check and all that for usually for a cheap price especially if you choose to work with these oem software clones but if i want to have one obd2 scanner for multiple brands i wouldn't go with the laptop i would choose either a code reader a bluetooth adapter or the last obd scanner type i i am about to introduce you and that is a professional scan tool that is the last of the main types of obd2 scanners okay so these scan tools are made purely for diagnosing and servicing the vehicles they are more expensive but even if you are diy mechanic and you work on budget you can get some pretty interesting picks for example this top down often there is some deal for it and you can get it for maybe like three four hundred bucks which makes it one of the cheapest scan tools scan tools will allow you to work with all control modules in your vehicle so while the simple bluetooth adapter and engine code readers will let you read codes only from the engine with scan tool like this you can access all control modules and not just read codes but also full live data and perform bidirectional testing in each module. Bidirectional testing is using your scan tool to test different components in various systems, not just the engine. For example, in the engine you can test your fuel injectors, your engine fan. In other systems you can test basically anything that is powered by electricity, for example your power windows, windshield wipers, really almost anything. The scan tool also comes with service procedures. For example, oil reset, throttle adaptation, electronic parking brake reset. The newer a car is, the more of these service procedures are necessary to perform service tasks. For example, on your vehicle, if you want to change brake pads, you will need this EPB function, which unlocks your electrical brake calipers. You will also need first DPF regeneration if you are dealing with some DPF faults, battery registration on your vehicle. When you do simple task as changing the car battery, what you need to do is let your ECU know that you put your new battery by using the BMS service procedure. We have also airbag to deal with airbag faults. This will help you reset your airbag light and bunch of others. This is entry-level scan tool, it comes only with 8 service procedures, but you can find up to 50 different service procedures in the best scan tools. The scan tools will also come with a bunch of advanced functions. For example, you have this library, which stores thousands of repair guides for different trouble codes. You can also see TSBs, which are technical service bulletins, which are like these documents to solve issues on car models from different brands. You can also record your live data, you can record your entire screen. It also comes with the camera, so you can take pictures and videos. You know, these scan tools are made purely for servicing vehicles, so they have like these extra details and functions to help you with that. By the way, if you are interested about this tool, I also have the review 